Hello everyone, welcome again to Good One. And today, I'm going this video. I'm going to show you demo of the car rental service project in Spring Boot. That's an another application in Spring Boot uh, that is uh, using a Spring Boot as a backend and is following uh, the uh, like complete MVC architecture. And uh, for the front end, especially using JSP, I'm going to show you some uh, front end things over there. So if you see, it's uh, using HTML, and under the HTML, there are some. It's using some template kind of things. So it's G, uh, it's using HTML, JSP, and JPA things for the front end purpose. So let's run the application uh, and check the demo. Before check the demo, let's make sure uh, these are the project uh, like package entities uh, in the application. And uh, for the database purpose, we are using MySQL database, and here is the database. Under the database, we have these many tables: C underscore book, branch, contact, feedback, user, and vehicle. Uh, if I talk about the users, so this is the user table that manage all the users, all kind of the users that are going to interact with the application. So uh, we have differentiated the user by role ID. So uh, the role ID one always will be for the admin user, and other will be for the customer. So let's run the application and check what a user can perform over the application. So I open the runner file, right click on it, go to run as and click on the run on application or run as a Java application. And once the server is started, an application run on a specific port number. In my case, it will run on a double eight double eight port number and then go to the resources and application property and open this path this is your uh, project path and uh, open it on the browser and enter the browser and application will run here so let's log in first as an admin and see what admin can perform so if i check my user table under this we have the admin user with a login id admin at the rate admin.com so i just enter the admin user id and the password as an admin at the rate one two three I enter the password as well. I hit the login button and I successfully logged in into the admin section. Here we have a home option and under the branch section, we can add a branch and we can view the branch that are already available in the application. So currently, if you see, we have BMW, Audi, Swift, and you can see some other brand in the Nishan on the second page. Let's suppose add a new brand. So here, just enter the brand. Let's say, suppose I enter Renault and the brand is added successfully now check the view brand and go to the second page here and you can see the new entry is there with a the reno but it's added by the admin okay move to the first page again and here we have a search option also so we can search the brand by name so let's filter the data and clear the data also we have edit and delete option here uh, we can easily click hit these buttons and we can perform edit and delete operation now let's suppose what admin can do, admin can also add a vehicle under any brand. So let's say I want to add a, a vehicle and newly added brand. So let's say I want to add a quid and the model is basic or you can say anything. And it's price uh, for the rental purpose and it's four seater and the brand name. So it's Renault and it's like the vehicle description. We can check so we can pass some description here. And choose the image and if I have an image yeah, I have the image and let's make sure when you're uploading the image use a valid uh, like uh, valid format like JPG or PNG and add the vehicle now the vehicle is added successfully and when you go to the view vehicle and see the second page and here you will find the newly added entry now we can uh, again we have a, a search uh, by vehicle name edit option and delete option here okay under the user section we have a user list so admin can check all the users that are available into the system and booking reports so what are the user going to book and what are the pickup time and all the details user details mean here we have a view option so we can check the details in a, a single view and then we can perform the delete operation Another operation is my profile and change, change password is there. And now let's log out as a as a admin and 
create a user and perform the operation as a user. Let's suppose I am not registered into the database and I'm gonna, if not a customer, I click on this button. I'm gonna click as a new user. Let's suppose I enter the data as a new and user and mail and the contact number, I think, and let's select the date of birth and enter the email address. Let's suppose I enter new at the rate gmail.com and the password I enter demo at the rate one two three. Okay, I register so register successfully. Now refresh the table and check the database. The new entry is there with a new user. Now I'm gonna log in with this user and check what this user is going to perform in this application. So new at the rate gmail.com is my email ID and the password is demo at the rate one two three D is capital. Okay, I logged in here and when I go to view card, I can check all the cards available for the rental purpose that is added by the admin only. And here we have an option for all brand. So I can filter data by the name of brand. So under the BMW, we have this, under Audi, we have this, and under the Renault, we have this. So data is filtering successfully. And now let's suppose I want to book this. I click on the book. Here I need to select a date so for booking date, let's say for 17 Feb and pick a time so i just select a time as 3 pm and the name and login id will automatically fetch from the database and i click on the book now this is booked and the id is here now if i check my booking details i can see the newly uh, booked report is there i can download the receipt as well and this entry also updated from the admin side or for the user as well we have my profile and change password section and the logout option so that's it for the demo here we have some simple forms like contact form and about us that will already store into the database so that's it for the demo and if you need this source code you can easily contact with the con uh, with us with the code one team by whatsapp skype or mail so we will share all the details to have it price and the support and different different services we are providing so we also providing the remote support so it means we will run this application at your machine and it will work same as source in this demo thank you so if you need please contact